The first time we connected, I was at a wedding, and I jokingly told God, All right now, Lord, I think it's time for you to send me my husband. Not knowing that very night on March the 12th, 2022, at 9.18 p.m., heaven opened for me. I thought I was living the forge, but life just started when I met you. And here we are, a little over two years later, standing before friends and family, and some people I don't even know, professing my love for you. <laughs> hey, y'all. I told Alexis when I told her, I said, you know what, this day is my first I do because not only for what I'm saying to you right now, and I want to say in the vows, but I told her I didn't care much about a wedding or anything of that nature. You know, it's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Thank God for everybody here. Thank God for everybody sharing our special day with us. But the only thing that mattered to me is this woman standing in front of me. I don't see anybody else here right now. All I see is you. It's just me and you like it always is. And today I say I do. As soon as I reached out to you and connected, I do, I do today. I will always do. Anybody can talk, talk game is cheap, but I wanna show you every single day, just like I've been showing you for these two years. Ain't nothing changed, only thing difference is now, your address changes and your last name, but it's still just me and you, boo. So I do to you, so in short, I do. Derek, I love you so much. You made me feel safe from the very beginning. You protected my heart, you covered me, you prayed for me, and you loved me through everything. You encouraged me, empowered me. You allowed me to rest in my femininity because of the safety that you give me. You a bad boy. You are a man, man. You're strong yet gentle to me. You say what you mean and mean what you say. You hold me accountable. You set boundaries within yourself and me. But most importantly, you are God's man. I knew that I can give you a heart when I saw that you was afraid of breaking God. You love God with everything in you and I admire how far you go for God. It encourages me to love God just as hard, if not harder. So today, I vow to humbly submit myself to you. As long as you follow God, I'll follow you anywhere. I'm about to be there when you're sad and celebrate when you're happy. I'm about to raise my kids to love and respect their father. I'm about to love you through thick and thin, through sickness and through health. Yeah. Derek Shelton Rich. Right the full government, my child. Yeah. I vow to be your wife. Yeah. Mm. I love you forever and always. Not every day you get to see your baby brother get married, but this is the only one of these ceremonies that I get to attend for him. I couldn't be happier for my baby brother and his beautiful bride. They say marriage is about finding that one special person you want to annoy the rest of your life, and I have no doubt they found their perfect match. This is a day that, honestly, I, I couldn't hold back the tears. Anybody who knows me knows Derek and I were like peanut butter and jelly growing up. I'm just so in awe of God. And as the different people were walking down the aisle, the tears begin to fall. This is my little brother. And I did, I called Alexis, or I texted her or messaged her or whatever. And I said, I better not be losing my little brother. I better be gaining a little sister. She said, I promise you, you will. And so today I'm excited because I do believe that. I do believe that that's what you're gonna be. I'm not losing a sister, but I'm gaining another brother. So Derek, we appreciate you. We love you. You are the most phenomenal man to my sister. And I'm just so grateful to have you in the family. I'm so grateful for my sister and what y'all are gonna to do together. This is gonna be the next and the best part of your life. I'm so glad to see that you found someone that puts a smile on your face every day. I remember the first time I found out about Derek. So if you know Alexa, she likes to travel. So she she flew in and, you know, we had a great weekend. 
it was something different about her this weekend. Every five minutes, noticing her looking down at her phone, and she was having the biggest smile, the biggest grin on her face. You know, who are they talking to? Who, who, you know, what, what's going on? And she was like, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> she finally told me, she was like, well, I started talking to someone, his name is Derek. You know, the rest is history. You know, there they are now. I thank you for continuing to always keep a smile on her face. Every time she talks about you, every time I ask her about you, you know, she's always saying something positive with a smile and she's always laughing. Pray God's blessing upon the both of you. I pray that you guys both continue to thrive and keep God first. In the words of my mama, keep folks out your business. And I wish you all of the success and happiness that heaven has to offer. God bless you.